Well, it's actually been uh, quite a few months since we have picked up a camera. I know you guys see us every week, but today it feels good to pick this up. Yeah, so it's been a while. Uh, so today's video is going to be kind of catching you guys up what's happened in our lives over the last few months. While we can't really travel, yeah. so speaking of that, we're doing our best to just do some getaways. So we've yep. escaped the city for a couple of days and come to this great Airbnb. We're going to show you that. Sit down, chat for a little bit. So if you're wondering where we are, we are on the south shore of Nova Scotia. It's a really, really beautiful area. I think where we are right now is called Kingsburg, and our rental is right on the beach. I must say, it feels really good to be out of the city, just in a totally relaxing environment. You can hear the waves all the time. It's really gorgeous. When we woke up this morning, it was pouring down rain, and we didn't think we were going to get any blue sky and sun. Now we have it, so we can be out on this beach. It's the middle of November, and it's not even that cold. In Canada? I love this! So we actually had full intentions of spending some time here in the summer. Yeah. Uh, perfect. There's loads of nice beaches around here. We, have, we did see some beautiful beaches in Cape Breton, but there's supposed to be some gorgeous ones around here. But it just never worked out. We were super busy all summer. <laughs> so that means next summer. I mean, that's a long time away. We're going to have to come back down and show you more of Nova Scotia. I know some of you are really enjoying the series and we appreciate all of the feedback. But right now we're going to get off this beautiful beach and take you into our cozy beach cottage for a little tour and then catch you up on things. Welcome inside our Airbnb. We actually just got back in on time. It uh, just started pouring down rain, so we left out there. <laughs> Did we but ever? Check out these windows. It's probably my favorite thing about this place. It's gorgeous, so much light. Yeah. Love it. When we saw this place online, we knew we had to book it. One thing we really like when we're traveling and on the road, not just in our home province here, we just like a clean, bright space. We're kind of the most productive in that end. They're just really comfortable to stay in. So this is the living room area. It's got a couch, a couple of chairs, a TV, which actually wasn't in the listing, so I wonder if they recently added that. One thing I love about it is I feel like in the summertime, it would be like super fun and beachy in here, oh, but yeah. now that it's winter time, it's like really cozy. I know, and we didn't even mention, look at all the patio oh, yeah. chairs, and there's a picnic table and a barbecue. Yeah, not that we'll get to use that right <laughs> now, but in summertime, it'd be great. Uh, and the floors? are heated, which we actually have at home, but I don't know, I really appreciate it here for some reason, extra. Maybe because it's concrete. Probably. Now look at this, this is the kitchen, oh wow. I love the kitchen, I love these countertops, wood countertops are really great, uh, and look at the stove, it's like <laughs> gas stove, it's yeah. huge. They did not hold back on anything. Look at that stove. Yeah, it's beautiful. Also, we'll go up here soon. This is a ladder that goes up to a loft. A loft. It's a little scary going up there, but we'll <laughs> brave it. All right, come on this way. We'll show you uh, what's down the hall here. First of all, we have a bedroom. So it is a perfect size bedroom with an oversized queen size bed, I believe. There's two of these uh, in the whole cottage. And then if you go this way, come on with me. You have a gorgeous bathroom, and I don't know if we'll get this shower in the shop, but I'll put it up here because this shower is my favorite piece in the whole bathroom. I just love the white uh, subway tiles on the walls. It's giving us inspiration for our new place because we bought a new home. We'll get into that. How are you doing down there? This is honestly really scary, <laughs> like straight up. It is, yeah, completely straight up. Just don't fall, okay? <laughs> So this is the loft area, and I never expected when we were down there that you could like stand up so high. Yeah. There's really, really high ceilings up here. It's a king size bed. It's really open and airy, and the view, again, is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is, well, that's the money shot right there. So if any of you are ever going to come to Nova Scotia in the future when it's safe to travel Which again, you should. yes, you absolutely <laughs> should, well, make sure to put a link to this exact place 
down below in the description. Yeah, and if you've never used Airbnb before, we'll also put a link down below to say it's something like 60 bucks, but yeah. I think it changes frequently, it changes. so just go sign up and you'll get a credit right on your account. All right, so let's talk about the real reason we are not traveling right now. The main one is in our part of Canada, which is Eastern Canada, specifically Atlantic Canada, we're in Nova Scotia. We are in an Atlantic bubble. <laughs> so it's very unique. I'm very curious if there's any other part of the world doing this. Yeah, I think maybe part of Australia is doing this, but there's not many. No, so we'll try to explain what that is because it's a really, really good thing, but when it comes to traveling, <laughs> and we usually travel and we know we can't right now, it becomes a bit of, well, a problem for us. Specifically because if you do come back from a trip in Canada, in general, you have to isolate uh, self-isolate like a real quarantine for two weeks so we certainly thought about going somewhere for a month um, here and there but then we'd have to come back and kind of lock ourselves inside for two weeks right so that's even if you leave Canada you have to isolate but if yep. you leave the Atlantic bubble which is just four provinces any of these four provinces you leave you went to Ontario if you went to BC when mm -hmm. you come back you're gonna have to do that self isolation so they basically right. have like our borders in this part of Canada, really, really locked down. Yeah, so for all you that have been asking, when are you going to go across Canada to some other provinces, you wanna see the Rockies, Banff, Vancouver, we can't. That's the short answer. We can't really travel within our own country. Um, I mean, we can, but then we'd have to isolate it at two weeks and, like I said, with Christmas coming up and everything, it just didn't yeah, really make sense. Yeah, so we already did the uh, quarantine and isolation when we got back from the Philippines, of course. And at least then it was June. It was nice out. So it was nice out. We rented, you guys can go back and watch if you haven't seen it, but we rented a really nice house that had a backyard so we could go outside and spend some time out there. Whereas <laughs> in the wintertime, eh, not so easy. Yeah, so the plan is to hopefully travel at some point when it's safe again but right now because of this uh, Atlantic bubble which is we love and, and it's, it's it's working it's so working. if you look at the numbers in Canada right now there's lo loads and loads of cases happening. Uh, they're on the rise yeah. on the rise for again, sure second wave here in Nova Scotia we have I think maybe 20 cases currently and it's all mainly people that yeah. uh, were outside of the bubble and came back yeah and I think in, in September and October there were almost no cases mm -hmm. so it's it's working really well now because we've had all this time here while we're home and we're not really traveling other than within Nova Scotia we decided to take care of some housekeeping items mainly being we sold our house <laughs> our condo is that a housekeeping item yeah, our, our condo yeah we did so we had been thinking about it for a while the housing market in Halifax has been crazy for a couple of years but once COVID hit, I don't know what happened, but everybody really seemed to evaluate where they wanted to live and yeah. made a priority on where they wanted to live. And the housing market has just gone crazy. In a good way for us. So yeah. basically, for sellers, it's good. We've buyers, been, not so good. We've been thinking <laughs> about this for a while because we're normally on the road and we want to normally get back on the road in the future when things are safe to travel again. We talked about downsizing to a smaller condo, a smaller home that would open up possibilities of other things um, like if we wanted to maybe invest in a tiny home yeah, a or a van. Things. Yeah, we've definitely thrown around the idea of investing whatever money is left over in a tiny home. Mm -hmm. We'd probably live in it a little bit, but mainly to rent out. Yeah. However, the laws seem really complicated. complicated so I think it would take a lot of stress and a lot of research mm -hmm. to try to figure out like, what to build, how to build it, and where to put it, because we don't own land either. Yeah, so these are all just ideas right now, so it might not happen, even yeah. if it doesn't happen. The idea of having an even smaller place, I'll call it a crash pad to come back after a trip, it's just easier to pack up and leave. Mm -hmm. And that's the main thing. Yeah, so we, I don't know if you even said this, maybe you did. We sold our place and we bought another place. We ended up buying yep. a much smaller place. It's uh, right downtown. So right now we live in the north end of Halifax. We're mm -hmm. right downtown. Mm -hmm. So what we're curious about is right now we're you know running out of content. This is pretty much filmed in real time. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not normally the case. So we're curious if you guys would be interested in seeing our new home videos, our, our move, our condo, yeah, getting ready. Yeah, would be interested in seeing where we live now, where we're moving to, mm -hmm. what the moving process is like, all the stress that comes with that. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty stressful few months, guys. And uh, yeah, I think I mentioned before, I broke my rib when I fell running and I've been going through a little bit of anxiety, but I think that's just all related to travel and just the move. Not being able to travel. Not being able to travel and the yeah. move. So, but speaking of not being able to travel or traveling again in the future, we do want to get back on the road. So I know some of you are anxious for us to do that. Um, 
we're keeping our eye on countries and the mm-hmm. cases. If we went somewhere again, it would probably be in the new year at some point. We mm-hmm. would do it totally differently than we Yeah, so I do. mean, we I definitely have high hopes that we will go somewhere at like end of January, beginning of February, just because winter here is warm. not pleasant. <laughs> we hate winter. We're not winter people. Not winter. So we want to go somewhere warm. And of course, it's not going to be traveling like we normally would. No. We'd probably rent an apartment somewhere for a few months yep. uh, and just kind of stay put, not, you know, kind of live like we do here. But do like, we do here. Yeah. Not yeah. go out that often. Hopefully I have a pool where we can just kind of chill and like... Yeah. Keep, keep and, to ourselves, yeah. but yeah. in a warmer climate where we can still get the culture, do a little bit of traveling and probably be more out, outdoor activities, which is great. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if uh, you guys have any suggestions on where we should possibly go, if, if you know of some countries that are doing better than others with this whole coronavirus thing, please do let us know. We're open to suggestions. Yes. Warm, somewhere warm. And speaking of running out of content, it's also <laughs> coming up to Christmas time. Last year at this time, we were making our way through Europe and we ended up in um, Poland where we filmed some Christmas markets and we had full intentions. We had so much fun. It was amazing. So we had full intentions of going back to Europe this year, doing more Christmas markets. Obviously that can't happen. So no. we're trying to figure out what to do for, we want to do some Christmas content. If you guys are, um, you know, you want to see some Christmas videos, go back and watch the Poland Christmas videos so that we put out. They were some of our favorite videos we've ever yeah. filmed. It was magical. Honestly. Yeah, and like we said, we don't really like to travel into cold places, but this was definitely one yeah. of our favorite <laughs> things we've ever done. So should we tell them what kind of series we think we're yeah. doing? Yeah. So we're throwing around the idea and let us know what you think again. We're open to suggestions, but over three or four weeks over Christmas, doing cooking videos, cooking at Christmas with us. And yes. um, we're not very good cooks, but we think what we're we- are not terrible, <laughs> we, but it'll be an experiment. It would, because what we're thinking about doing is recreating some of our favorite meals from a few different countries. Yeah, so we've thrown around the idea of Polish food, of mm-hmm. Greek food, what, uh, what did we about? say? Maybe Brazilian food? Maybe Brazilian food and maybe Filipino food. Yes. I can't remember if there was another one. So. We're thinking about some dishes there, trying that. We'll try to make it as festive as possible to try to get everybody cheery. The second wave of coronavirus is just being a big humbug. Yeah. So. And in Halifax, they're actually putting together some sort of Christmas festival. We yeah. have no idea what that's going to be like, but if it en- ends up being really awesome, we promise we will film that as well. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we figured it was time to take you on one of our typical beautiful beach videos. It's so warm here right now, it's just like the Caribbean. I brought my bikini <laughs> all ready to relax on the beach. It's yeah. a little cold here, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at Hurdles Beach. A couple people actually recommended that when we're in So Shore, yeah. come to this beach, it's like the Caribbean. <laughs> it is actually a really gorgeous beach. It is. And it's like a five minute drive from where we're staying, so very convenient. Yeah, you guys can probably see in the background here, look at the waves. So yeah, I think that, I doubt it's normally <laughs> this wavy. It's from, I think it's from the storm this morning. But yeah. Wow. I wouldn't want to be out there, but uh, I don't know if you could surf those or not, but I'm not about to try. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see around me, but there's some really, really beautiful homes here. They're all kind of that color, that kind of Cape Cod color. I don't even it's know like what you call wood. that, that beach wood kind of thing where it's no no paint on it. I love it. Beautiful, gorgeous homes. Uh, some of them are super modern and kind of like blend in with the background and then others are like huge mansions. Um, if I win, ever win the lottery, I will, I will bu- build or buy a beach house around here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see them here. This is what I wanted to show. Way off. I don't have the zoom lens on, but my, yeah, come it's on. Like houses just sitting on top of the cliffs over there. At the can you imagine? So we're just gonna keep going on this nice little walk on the beach. We're gonna sit down for a while since it's not that cold. So that means we're gonna leave you guys here for now. Yeah, and if you haven't caught up on last week's video, we finally finished off. The videos that we had filmed in the Philippines like way before the lockdown, we just never had time to put them out. So those are now finally out. And if you don't know what we're talking about, I know most of you do. We got stuck in the Philippines when this whole coronavirus thing happened and we switched to real time for like four months. Uh, So (laughs) we have these old videos that just kind of, we never had time to put out. Yeah, it was before the lockdown. So they're out and in the next video, we're really excited because we're gonna take all of you to what arguably is the most iconic spot in all of Nova Scotia. And one of the most iconic spots maybe in Canada. Do you know what that is? Let us know below in the comments. Speaking of the comments, leave us one if you like the video, even if you didn't like the video. <laughs> hit the thumbs up button, that really helps us out. Hit subscribe, yeah. click on the bell, you'll get notified when the next video comes out, but it's every Sunday if you happen to be wondering. 
All right, guys, that's it. From the South Shore in Nova Scotia, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.